We're well aware that all the efforts to stop us are really because this is the tip of the iceberg. Holly and the other children that we know about in this particular case, Anne's poor brother who was murdered, all these things are just the tip of the iceberg. We are well aware that the authorities have got an enormous amount to hide. And if this gets out, and if, it's, uh, if it gets in the press all over Scotland, which it should, do, it should be and would be if Scotland had a free press and was a proper democracy, then this would cause chaos. It would probably mean the, almost certainly mean the fall of the Scottish Government, the current government, and it would bring down a lot of people in very prominent positions in the professions all over Scotland. And that is why every effort is made to shut us off. Why I was arrested and charged. This is all to try and silence the people who want the truth to come out. And we all want the truth to come out. And we determined it will come out one way or another. With the support of friends like you and friends across the world who do everything to come out of us. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, anyway, I say it's really an informal day today just to meet Anne and Holly, and they're so thrilled that you've all come. It means so much to them to have that wonderful support and that love and, and everything else. It's been absolutely terrific. Now, I have a, a, a slight running order of the speeches there. What a few people want to make say a few words, and I've asked everybody not to make it too long because we don't want a day of speeches, really. Uh, but uh, first of all, I'm going to call up... Uh, I was publicist here, called A.M., who's been enormously helpful. And uh, A.M., if you'd like to say a few words, first of all. Thanks, Robert. Um, thank you to everybody for making the effort to come here today, but particularly thank you to you, Holly, and to you, Anne. And as has already been said, Robert, for your tremendous courage. I agree with you the way that the press works, both in this country and around the world. It's completely controlled, it's not democratic, but it's reached a point now with everything that's happened with these awful atrocities that people are just not prepared to tolerate it anymore. We've now got tremendous ways of communicating via the internet, via each other, just literally talking about what's happened. It's not going to go away, it's not going to stop, but it will because we are going to make it stop. We're not going to just get bogged off. If news editors or programme you know, kind of people say, well, we, we can't put this on because we haven't got proof or we don't know what's been happening and we're not quite sure. Well, there's something that I constantly keep seeing and it's been happening for years and years and years. And that is, we're constantly shown in the media that anything to do with these awful atrocities towards children, we're always distracted about something that's going on over here. A very good example lately has been about John Venables and being, being put back to prison. There's been a huge, huge amount of debate and hysteria about how dreadful this is. And it's so, so clever. Because what it does is it makes us look in this direction and concentrate on this. Well, we know right over here with what's happening with Holly is really what they're trying to distract us from. And it's an age-old method to keep us distracted. We constantly see things in the media about paedophile rings that take place. And I'm not trying to say one practice is worse or better than the other. But we know that those isolated cases that are constantly reported are keeping us completely distracted from the globally organized, highly organized crime of paedophilia and children's abuse. And this is why we're constantly being told, don't look over here, this doesn't exist. It's over here to these few individuals who are doing what they're doing. And that's simply not true. And the more people have the courage to come out, as you have done, Holly, to talk about what's happened, the more we have the chance to keep relentlessly moving this information so that the truth has got to come out. No more. Just no more. So thank you, everybody.